where it comes from, flavors can bring people some memories. You're talking about flavors, bringing memories of your childhood. Tell us a little bit about the little Julio <laughs> okay, in Peru, back I, there in Peru. Yes, I came to this country like 19 years ago. I was an amazing childhood. Um, I was born in Lima, Peru. A big city. Big city, yeah, 11 million of people over there. But when I came to America, I start to miss those flavors, those fruits, those uh, smells, you know, remind, remind me of my life. Um, that's why I start to produce those kind of flavors and people like it. How do people react to those exotic flavors? Uh, does it bring any memories to them or how do they react if it's new for them? They are really surprised they can find um, those kind of flavors like a passion fruit or soursop or tamarind in the middle of coconuts, you know, in, in USA. Of course, we have a regular flavor. We have like a 40 flavors. We make all the ice cream in our store by the scratch. We use a uh, local milk and we import many fruits. That's why people like it. <laughs> I know that coming to this country and being an immigrant, it's not easy mm -hmm. and it wasn't easy for you. Tell us a little bit about the challenges you found and how you overcame them. Yeah, at the beginning it was uh, really hard. I, I have a nice life in Peru. I study economics. I work in the bank, like a microfinance. I came to this country without speak any word in English. Nothing? Nothing, zero, nada. And um, I started um, working in Shoni, in the hotel, in the laundry, in different uh, positions. From scratch? From scratch. From bank to laundry. I know. <laughs> What's nice? Well, I like it. I, I know in my mind I have a goal, you know, I want to do something different. Um, we start to save money with my family, we have a plan, we write down the plan and we say what uh, we can do. USA is a big country, it's a lot of opportunities, but you have to work in hard. Um, now our goal is keep growing. We have now two stores. We sell our ice cream to many restaurants and supermarkets. We want to open more stores and we, we want to sell more ice cream, you know? <laughs> yes. I know that you're not the only one behind a successful business. Uh -huh. You have your wife from Argentina, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, that works with you. Tell us about your wife, Celia. Celia is from Argentina. Uh, we have two kids. We have a happy family. And she helped me a lot in the business, you know? Without her, probably cannot be year. I think we make a good team. Yeah. <laughs> and also you came from a big city to the to country, the Poconos. to the Poconos. Yes. How was that? I came in January when it was snowing, cold, it was hard. Now I love it. I like it. I like the place. I like the quiet. It's a nice place to raise a family. I love Poconos. I think I, be, I feel I am part of this area now. You know, I'm part of the community. We belong. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julio, for your, your, your input and your story. But I have one last thing I want to ask you. Uh -huh. What's behind that cute llama, oh. you know? <laughs> Una llama yeah. is from your logo. I'm from Peru. In the mountains, I have many llamas. I love the animal. I love the name. You can spell in Spanish and English in the same way. Llama or llama? In Spanish, it's llama. In English, llama. But I discovered in America, people love llamas and uh, we love the cute llamas and uh, I, I, I love that logo, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Julio, very Thank much. Thank you, Victoria.